I had it in my head. I wanted to go to the draft. I wanted to enter my name and start to chase that dream that's just been biting at me for so long. I had a lot of people tell me that it was stupid, like it was a bad idea. They just didn't believe in me. And I think that was the wrong thing for them to do because that just made me add more sticks to the fire. I'm Hakeem Butler and I play football. When it came to sports, I just played for something that was bigger than me. My mom passed away when I was 13 to breast cancer. It changes life overall just for a kid that young. There's never been something that we felt like he couldn't handle. And that goes back to what his family has asked of him growing up. And he wouldn't have done it if his mom didn't raise the bar and set expectations for him when he was a kid. There it is. I told my mom when I was younger, I want to play in the NFL, but I got to keep my word. And I just got to prove a lot of people right up. I think with having to face a certain kind of adversity, when he was so young, I think it kind of put a chip on his shoulder. Nobody's perfect, but you got to strive for perfection. For this morning workout, we're just going to be doing some ball drills. Try and catch around 200 balls today. We'll hook a high resistance band up to the wall, put it on the elbow of Hakeem's arm, just making sure that he's staying strong. I just know that there are so many other people that would kill to be in my position, so why should I take it for granted? He works hard, he hustles hard. He knows what he needs to do, and he knows what his efficiencies are. To see the step that he's taken this last year and to, to eat the right thing, it's been funny to watch him grow up and mature that way too. The name I wear on the back of my jersey, it represents more than me. Everybody doesn't get to have that last name and put a legacy behind it, make it mean something. And I think that fuels me every day. Keem, you're going to be on the right. Matt, you're going to be on the left. Yeah. Quick out, sluggo. <laughs> I'm Kyle Kemp, quarterback coming out in this year's draft class. Kyle transferred in and changed his whole program. Dude's like resilient, he's a hard worker, he's a borderline genius. <laughs> Working with him every day, I mean, just to get on the same page so we can both look good, I think it's great. It's awesome throwing to him with that size and speed. He's a freak of nature, but he's a phenomenal kid too, so it's been a lot of fun. So right now we're prepping for pro day, so we're going through our entire route script, so just cleaning up everything. Basically for us, it's running all the routes the NFL wants them to see, and then being able to clean that up and make it crisp on pro day. We always had fun on the football field. If King would get a big play, I would try and get a big play and, and vice versa. He's a big competitor. It was always fun to compete with him and being his teammate. You could just tell that, you know, he had the gifts to go to the next level. I just have something in me that other people I feel don't have. It's not cockiness, it's confidence. Like, I'm going to go to play in the NFL. Like, it may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but I'm going to be there. I'm going to wear that jersey. I'm going to run out on that field and make a play. I would say two years ago, I maybe was 200 pounds. I didn't like being that small. You out there hitting people every Saturday or Sunday, you need something to make you hit back or absorb those hits. And so the weight that I gained, it made me stronger and it just made me a physical force. He's always just kind of been a guy that got something to eat, whatever might be fast food, showed up and went off for 30 points in a basketball game. My body is how I'm gonna be successful in this world. So I have to take care of it and show it love. You know, you gotta eat healthy and make sure you're running good. I always put yogurt in my smoothies. When I first got here, it was Akeem's freshman year. He was kind of going through the growing pains of, of being a freshman in college, and it's been really fun to watch the growth that he's got. Oh, you catch. I've grown with that dude, and he's helped me grow. He's looked out for me since the day he's got here. I don't know why. I'm just a lovable person, I guess. He just wants to focus on football and focus on being the best version of himself. He's a really smart guy. He took 18 credits this last semester, so he can graduate in three and a half years. He can put a lot on his plate, and, and he can handle it. People say, like, bro, like, you, you can't do it. You can't take 19 credits and, like, have a good season. I took 19 credits, I got my degree, and I broke records. That's hustling to the finest. You say I can't do something, I'm going to go out of my way to prove you wrong. Akeem's hustle is fueled by his mom, what she's meant to him. And I think a lot of people might have labeled him as somebody that they would have expected somebody like him to not go on and, and get a Division I scholarship and go out and chase NFL dreams. I don't think it's clicked yet that, like, I'm that close. I think it's kind of crazy. I could be putting on an NFL jersey here soon. I would say over the years, as my game progressed, that progressed because of what I was doing just in life. There are a lot of days you don't want to wake up, you don't want to work out, you don't want to do homework, but in the end, like, that all pays off. You got to keep fighting every day. At the end of the day, you can't call your own name. You don't have any control. All I can do is go out there, showcase what I'm good at, and just people just see that for what it is and just hopefully love me for me and see that I'm a piece of clay that they can mold into a great receiver.